food system is a very complex thing. It, um, it comprises of all of the things, I guess, that go together, the institutions and the firms, the businesses, the people that go together to provide us with the essential nutrients that keep us healthy and, and happy. And so it runs right the way through from primary production, agriculture, through to the food processing, manufacturing of that food, through to the retailers and the and the, ultimately the consumers of, of the food. If we think about food security as having something to do with production, consumption and distribution, there are power structures that broadly, even at a global level, govern who produces what, who consumes what and how does it get distributed. But also, who makes decisions about what is the focus of agriculture at a national level. But as the world becomes more globalised and the economy becomes more globalised, our food production system has become much more complicated and international trade becomes a really significant part of, of, of that. Are the foods that are being grown in a country being grown for domestic consumption? Is a country there to feed itself or is it exporting its food? And the power balances between countries and how those decisions are made vary. Certain countries within Sub-Saharan Africa will export 40 to 70 percent of the food that they produce because it's not meant for domestic consumption. And in some parts of the world agriculture is a very very significant part of the economy and those parts of the world tend to be the less developed parts of the world. And so food security isn't just about producing the food, it's about growing the economy and providing the, the pathway by which economies can move out of the uh, the early stages of development into subsequent more developed economies. Everyone is affected by the food quality and availability from food producers to food consumers. Food is also a fundamental human right and in this day and age it's quite shocking that uh, one in eight people around the world go hungry every day. In 2050 there'll be nine billion, upwards of nine billion people on the planet and we've got to work out a way of feeding all those people uh, and that effectively means doubling food production. We have to think about how we do it sustainably and that breaks down into first of all we do it uh, such that the planet isn't damaged so our food production has very big implications for the ecosystem that supports food production and secondly how we might do it in a way which allows people to eat healthily. So fundamentally Food security is about ensuring people's health. Mm -hmm.